Hi everyone! Today we're going to take a look at the best budget home theater projector in the market for this year. First we're going to show you our top 7 best picks and we'll talk about what you should look for before buying a budget home theater projector. You can find links to all of the products we've mentioned in this video down in the description below. Let's get started! At the first position of our list, we have Kodak Loma 150 Ultra Mini Pocket Pico Projector. There are a lot of things that Kodak has done right with its Ultra Portable Loma 150 Projector. It's affordable, it's stylish, and it can connect to multiple sources. For $220, you aren't going to get the same quality as an Epson or Bank, but if you're looking for an affordable way to enhance a casual movie night, the Loma gets the job done. The pocket projector is less than an inch tall and 39 inches wide, meaning you can bring the adorable Pico equipment with you anywhere you go. The small size certainly limits the device's brightness and image clarity, but reviewers have noted that it boasts decent quality compared to other projectors at similar price points. Plus, the fact that you can connect Micross memory cards, USB thumb drives, wireless devices and HDMI cables to such a small device is simply impressive. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Philips Neopix Easy Plus Projector. Philips unveiled their first line of compact, budget projectors in late 2020, fast becoming a great way to get in on the home theater and projector game without breaking the bank. The Easy Plus retails for as low as $150, making it the most affordable projector on this list. The main reason for the markdown is that it lacks fork resolution, which can certainly be a deal breaker for some. But if you already have a 4 TV and are turning towards a projector for the change in vibe and not necessarily a quality upgrade, then the Easy Plus is for you. The number 3 position is held by Bank HT2050 a home theater projector. Like Epson, Bank makes some of the best projectors on the market. And their new home theater projector, currently on sale for $750, is a great price for the advanced tech that comes packed in this 1080 pixel model. The updated version features significantly better picture quality than earlier iterations, thanks to noticeably darker blacks, high contrast, and impressive 3 image processing. But the 2050's headlining feature is its brightness, boasting a rating of 2200 ANSI lumens. Aside from projecting clear images, high brightness also means it can be used just as well in ambient lighting as a completely dark room which is great for those setting up their home theater in a room with natural light. Plus, highly customizable options for red and green view adjustments means you can color match reference images precisely without losing brightness. Next, at number 4 we have Bank TH671 1008F Short Throw. It's a short throw design with 3000 lumens, accurate rack, 709 color, and low input lag. At only $749, this compact LP with its built-in speaker can easily anchor a value-oriented home. The short throw lens is offset from the center and surrounded by a nice red trim ring. Its front element is more rounded than typical optics to ensure a square image at short distances. It has a 10,000, 1 dynamic contrast ratio, plus several features to enhance color accuracy. The projector has two HDMI inputs, one of which is MHL compatible, for connecting your digital HD devices such as a gaming console, Blu-ray player, or cable slash satellite box. The MHL compatible HDMI input accepts wired connections from your smartphone or tablet for mirroring. Its built-in 5 watt speaker eliminates the need for external speakers if none are convenient. The TH671 first includes a VGA cable and an ER remote control. The number 5 position is held by Epson Thrilled Full HD 1008F projector. The Epson Home Cinema 2250 is equal parts 1008F home theater projector and streaming projector with integrated Android TV and a bright, color-accurate image. The HC2250 has a native 1080 at 1920 by 1080 pixel resolution, courtesy of three 1920 by 1080 LCD chips. The Thrill design guarantees both that you won't see rainbow artifacts and that color brightness will match white brightness, so color images will be full as bright as you would expect from the 2700 lumen white brightness rating. The Epson Home Cinema 2250 Thrilled Full HD 1008F projector with Android TV is a great projector for your home cinema. It has a great image and works well in ambient lit or light restricted viewing areas. The number 6 position is dominated by Epson Epic Vision Mini F12 Smart Streaming Laser Projector. The Epson Epic Vision Mini F12 Smart Streaming Laser Projector is a more refined version of the Epson F100. 
It has a higher resolution at 1080 at 1920 by 1080 and lower brightness at 1000 lumens. Both are smaller than typical for laser projectors. Both are designed for streaming and neither supports 3. But the F12 offers integrated Android TV instead of a bundled dongle, adding support for 4K HLG. Color accuracy is excellent and the stereo speakers are impressive for the size. Overall, the Epic Vision Mini has a polished feel, and it's impressive enough to earn an editor's choice nod for streaming projectors. One of the advantages lasers have over lamps is that most are meant to last the life of the projector, eliminating the cost of replacement lamps. Finally, the number 7 position is dominated by Epson Home Cinema 1060 Full HD 1080i projector. Epson Home Cinema 1060 projector delivers larger than life Full HD entertainment at home. Get a widescreen image up to 300 inches up to 25x larger than a 60 flat panel. Easily connect with Blu-ray discs, gaming, streaming, and MHL enabled devices via 2x HDMI ports. Featuring 3,100 lumens of color slash white brightness, 1060 delivers vibrant images. Plus, Epson 3 Oak projectors deliver remarkable color accuracy, with high color brightness and white color gamut. And get a dynamic contrast ratio of up to 15,000, 1, a built-in speaker, and setup tools. The Epson 1060 uses 3 Oak, 3 chip technology. This is an HD, 1080 or 1920x1080 native panel. I saw no pixel grid from my close sitting position. Connections are via two HDMI ports, one XMHL to connect your cable slash satellite box, Blu-ray disc player, gaming console, or streaming device. That's all for today. We upload budget-friendly product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.